Hey, hey, hey. I am here and I'm gonna do some sweet potato noodles, but um, over here, let me show you if I can switch the camera. I'm doing some cashew cream. I'm making one of uh, one of the meals from the taste buds. Oh, it's probably gonna yell at me. I don't know. It'll probably yell at me because it's on here. But anyways, um, so now uh, I took a cup of cashews and boiled them in water for 10 minutes. And then now I'm gonna let it set aside. So, all right, back over here. I just had to do that because the timer went off. So hey. Make sure you uh, you comment um, hashtag live if you're live hashtag um, oh my gosh replay if you watch it in replay. So here are our peelers too. Um, so this is the regular peeler. Watch me not be able to get it off. All right. So that's the regular peeler, and it's just got the straight edge right there. Um, my favorite peeler is actually the serrated peeler. Over there, which is this one, and I'll demo them for you. So this is my favorite because it's got the serrated edges. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we've got our julienne peeler, which this is pretty cool. So that'll do like veggie noodles, but I'm actually going to use our spiralizer. And I'm going to actually show you what it looks like when I'm doing it. So this is the regular veggie peeler, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see camera down a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't flop over. So this is the regular one. It's nice and smooth. Actually, you know, I may mean, like this one. Um, I used to not like the other one because it was faced the other way, so you would hold it like this and slice it, but I like the way this is. There we go. All right. Pampered, not perfect. Anyway, so that's that one, and then this is the serrated one. Oh, see, so you can see right there the lines that it leaves, and then this one is super smooth. So actually, I think I like the regular one better now that I've done that. And then we've got the Julianne peeler, which is super cool. You can do little shreds, which you can make your veggie noodles like this, but I'm actually gonna make them using um, the veggie spiralizer. So I'm actually gonna use this one because now I found my new favorite. You guys were, saw me discover my new favorite because it's smooth. Um, I think it's just the way it's, it's so much better when you can do it like this instead of the way that the rest of them are, which is crazy. You hear my little, my stove is beeping at me because my cashews are sitting on there and it's hot. and. I don't know. It's like one of those really smart stoves where it thinks it can tell me what to do. And most of the time I just listen because <laughs> it's crazy. All right. I'm gonna chop that off. I'm gonna take this. I can probably do more. Like that. I'm gonna chop that off so it's a little bit more stable. And scooch this over. Man, it's been a long time since I've done lives and I have got to get better about preparing so that you guys don't have to see all the all the stuff. All right, so we're gonna pop this in here like so. It's centered. Let's see if I can... For you guys can't see. <laughs> I'll get better. All right. So it's not real stable because my the top isn't even. So I'm gonna just pull this out and make this top a little bit even, more even, so that it has something to grab onto. But I love it because it's gravity fed, so it's gonna be easier for the noodles to be made. I used to have one that wasn't. Hopefully you can see them coming out. And this is the big setting, so I'll get this a little bit closer for you. You can see these noodles. They're so pretty. 
but I'm doing a recipe from Taste Buds and I've got a lot of um, food issues. I can't have regular noodles. I can't have gluten, dairy, grains, soy, all of that kind of stuff. And so um, what I love about the Taste Buds is that it just gives me ideas. I'm gonna turn it back this way now. It gives me ideas on what to make. So the Taste Buds that I'm gonna make tonight is pasta and vegetables, but um, I'm gonna make my pasta from the sweet potatoes and I'm going to, it calls for a cream sauce, so that's why I'm messing with the cashews um, because I'm gonna make my own cream sauce that's uh, gluten-free, dairy-free. I don't know if that'll fit, it's a little too big. Um, so I don't know, I'm just really enjoying the taste buds. It's um, a subscription, it gives you a taste of our, of three of our um, spices and three recipes to go with it. And I figured I would do the sweet potato ones because I've got a lot of sweet potatoes. Okay, I was like freezing in my house a minute ago. So I put this on and now I'm like boiling. All right, so I think <laughs> that this is all I really need. One big honking sweet potato. I don't know if I can do this part. Well, we'll see. All right. So look at that. Here's the finished product. That was one big sweet potato. Back up so you can see. And it made tons of noodles. And I have it set on the bigger setting. I wanted bigger noodles. And then um, this is the recipe that I'm doing. It's gonna be pasta with vegetables. It calls for, um, it calls for cream. So heavy cream right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these cashews once they're um, cooled down and I'm gonna process them and I'm gonna make a gluten-free, dairy-free cream sauce. So I'm really excited about that. So if you've got questions about taste buds, let me know. Um, probably here in a little bit, uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna do the opening of the November one. These are the recipes from um, October, so. Anyways, you guys have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you later. Bye.